switching gears now, the post Christmas travel rush is here. And if you're heading back to work this week, keep in mind that AAA predicts Thursday to be the busiest time out on the roads. Yeah, the train stations and airports are already packed with people this week. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshuto is live in Providence. And Sheena, what are you hearing from people on this foggy Tuesday evening? Well, this holiday travel rush is expected to last until at least the new year. At TF Green Airport today, we did see some flight delays, also some cancellations. So people tell us they are just anxious to get to their next destination. Distance has nothing on those who are determined. I'm living in North Carolina now, and I flew here on, uh, on American to visit my son, who, who's been living here in Providence for several years now. We don't get to do this all that often, yeah. so uh, I got a new house, and so I've been showing around the new neighborhood and everything. It's been a lot of fun. And on this foggy Tuesday, that is clear as day here at the Providence train station. From here, I'm taking the train over to Boston, and I'm going to connect with my husband, my daughter and my daughter-in-law, my son-in-law, my uh, stepdaughter, and then we're going to get together and then we're going to go see a new baby that's also in Boston. And then we're going to drive from there back to Virginia. And it doesn't end there either. Then the family is driving back to North Carolina. One example of what makes this week one of the busiest travel periods of the year on this day after Christmas. Also living in Florida, that's right, we're on our way back to Florida. TF Green Airport is reporting several delays. 8 a.m. and here we are, uh, I think now we're at 412. Our camera's capturing the low visibility outside with many anxious travelers inside waiting for updates on their flight. I have a very small break of being able to travel while it's kind of like a baby moon situation where we're trying to get our last little fun in before we have our first kid, but we'll see. We'll see what happens and when we actually get to go. <laughs> and behind me, you're taking a live look at 195. Still very, very foggy out there. Keep in mind, according to AAA, the roads will be significantly busier with that travel rush for at least the next two days. The holiday rush continues. Uh, you can see plenty of brake lights, though the fog kind of uh, making things a little blurry here in this live look at the roadways. People are starting to head back to wherever they traveled from and nationwide airports, highways and train stations are getting busier. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshuto talked to several people at the Providence train station today and Sheena many pointed out the fog saying they were thankful they weren't driving. Exactly, and you can probably see that fog right now behind me. It's been consistent really all day long. Today we met people both going back home after traveling and those who are just getting started with their post-holiday vacations. We are taking the train to New York. As the train approaches, we take a step back. My mom's family's from Providence, so we are here with all the family from Providence. One stop connects hundreds of strangers taking them each from place to place. We are headed down to New York City to uh, check an item off my bucket list. For some, it's new. Like, okay, when's the best time to go? Well, I'm off from work this week, so <laughs> let's go. Or it's for now. So I grew up in Barrington, Rhode Island, and I actually just moved to Brooklyn last year. All on the same tracks for different reasons. This is just one look at the post Christmas travel rush. According to AAA, it will continue into the new year. Many are heading back home after visiting or taking advantage of some time off. It's wonderful that we've had an opportunity. I mean, I've flown and I've I've driven and I'm going to take the train, which I love taking the train. And so it's going to be wonderful. It's been wonderful. It's a nice Christmas. Today, the fog is not making it any easier for travelers on the roads or in the skies. You can certainly see the reduced visibility over at TF Green International Airport. The flight board showed several trips were delayed. I have a very small break of being able to travel while it's kind of like a baby moon situation where we're trying to get our last little fun in before we have our first kid, but we'll see. We'll see what happens and when we actually get to go. <laughs> And behind me, you're taking a live look tonight at 195. And at this point, AAA says it will be a busy week out on the roads with everyone traveling back home. Thursday, though, is set to be the worst. Reporting live in Providence tonight, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.